Welcome. Today we are in Annisburg uh, and camp near Beaver Hollow and we're going to talk to Reverend Swanson to start a new mission called A Rage Unleashed. Reverend, you okay, Mr. Morgan? I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself somehow. I, I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. Arthur, I'm Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. New York. We are gonna go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're gonna get a boat, we're gonna get on a river, and we're gonna go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion and then we disappear you need more commotion one score and one whole hell of a lot of noise we ain't so good at doing scores anymore dutch are you feeling all right arthur sure fine Pardon me for interrupting I brought a friend arthur hello hello dutch this is eagle flies his father is a great chief Charles and I, we uh, pretended to be mercenaries. Did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderlyn, how do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father is confused. Wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too much. Been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. Men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Yeah. Arthur, we must go with them. And try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. Come along. We can get them more horses. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping him up into a frenzy. Got enough folks coming after us about adding armies to the list. Bastards walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, young man, lead the way. The horses are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this can be done without killing anyone. Of course. What will be, will be. Anyway, son, tell me about this Colonel Favors. He's a vile man. He and his regiment take the pleasure of persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to reform schools. Many women, too. The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. All right, it looks like we get to have a fun little horse ride to somewhere near Van Horn. I'm not sure exactly where, but uh, I'm just going to follow these guys and see where it leads. Why are you getting involved in this, Dutch? You know me. We shoot fellers as need shooting. We save fellers as need saving. Feed them as need feeding. Not this again. It's been quite a while since we helped anyone but ourselves, and even you know that. I told you, noise. We need noise, Arthur. Noise and faith. I still don't know what that means. Stop questioning and think. Just think for a second. The Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion now. Sure, but what's this got to do with any of that? Some good, honest conflict between
Between the army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need. Kill two birds with one stone. Cornwall was funding the Pinkerton's assault on us. Why do you think I dealt with him? With Cornwall gone, the government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. And then we can slip away. Like I said, we just need that noise and one more score. You know, I went back for the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell, and we're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the army, it was all in those papers Mike found. I have a plan. You just have to trust me. I guess so. We have to stick together. Now more than ever. Alone, they'll pick us off. We wouldn't last five minutes out there. Not you, not me, not any of us. This must be the shoreline. It's a little foggy. I'm not sure to go. I think I'm gonna follow Eagle Flies. There's Peta. These men, like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Come on. Let's go. Cool. I get to drive a boat. Paddle on a boat anyway. But I can't see anything yet. I'm just going to follow you flies. Oh, I do see something in my compass. We need to get that boat ashore. Oh! Here it is, the ship. Is to paddle up there silently, border. And when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor, float away. <laughs> we'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. All right, getting closer, getting closer. Try not to splash too much, Arthur. All right. I'm trying. I'm trying. Here we go. Damn. Pushing. Uh oh, I gotta pedal faster here. River's carrying me downstream. Pull up alongside. Oh good. Oh good. We're on. We're boarded. All right. What's the plan here? Stealth time. Try yeah, my tomahawk equipped. Either. Oh, try not to kill anybody? Okay. We'll go stealthy. That was a little bit too aggressive. Oh, cool. I got a hat. I'm going to get the hat. I'm going to get the hat. Here it is. Alright, I got myself another hat. Oh, can't talk to Dodge. I'm not sure where to go next. I think I have to go forward. Alright, up we go. You mind the horses? I need smoke. They're moving too, cool. All right, stealth time. Oh, bye, bye, Captain. Pocket watch. Got a pocket watch. All right, let's see how this thing. I'm in. I cannot steer this thing. All right, different plan. I think I have to go forward. Chip, we got Let's see if I can. Here. Yeah, I think I have to go forward here. I found a body. Uh oh, we I'm in trouble. Back, oh boy. I, oh. I might as well use a pistol. 
go. Alright, one more, one more, one more. Got him. Plant dynamite on the anchor. Okay. I'll get on that as soon as they finish looting here. Are you dealing with the anchor? One more soldier. Got a platinum band. Okay. You go up front. R2 plants dynamite. Here we go. Blow it up then. Hurry. All right. Better run, better run, 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 run. Run. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, good. good. Captain Dutch. Confused. We need to round them up. I'll get these four, Arthur. Can you go after the others? Okay. Over here. Come on. This is really, really sweet how the water behaves at night. This looks really sweet. I like how the waves are. This is really neat. I like it. I like it. Looks like real water, except it's not as cold. All right, catching up with Eagle Flies and going to that spot with the yellow marker. All right, let's talk to Eagle Flies. Oh, we have to wait for Dutch to tell the gang what to do. Okay. Oh, I guess we'll wait like for Dutch. Uncle Sam likes you fellas even less than he likes us. So it goes. My father doesn't want to fight again. Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur... W oh, Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we going to wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Cone. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out at Fort Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. Your father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, gentlemen. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rangeful. Yes. Would you? This is a, a tough choice. I think I'm going to go with... Just no. Can't get any more involved in this business, Charles. It's, it's not my fight. You head on back to camp, check on the others, Dutch's behavior. I understand. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. And uh, it appears that wraps up the mission.
thank you for watching and uh, good luck in your play.